Welcome everybody to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This series is about installing PHP and MySQL in DreamHost. So where did we leave off? Well, in the last videos, we created a database, we set up a domain, and we learned about file transfer protocol. But we actually still have to create a table for our database. So if we go to goodies, MySQL databases, we can see that we have some stuff in here already. We have one database, and how do we actually go in here to, you know, create stuff? Well, we use a tool called PHP My Admin, which is a very popular tool that is used to manage your data inside of a database. It's a very nice tool, so it's it's a good thing to learn. So to access it, you click this link right here, PHP My Admin. Now, a couple of videos ago, when we set up this database, I told you there was a bunch of important stuff you needed to remember. Well, this is where that stuff comes in useful, and it will come in useful later, too. So you need to put in your username for your database and your password. And then when you're ready, click Go. So this is PHP My Admin. If you've never seen it before, trust me, it's not that confusing. All you gotta do is click Databases up here. This will show you the databases you have already, and we have this PHP MySQL tutorial one, which that is the database we created in the other video. And you can see here we can create a table here by naming it and giving it a number of columns. But I prefer to do everything the old-fashioned way, so we're going to actually write some SQL commands here. So I'm going to type out the command and then I'll explain it to you guys. Alright, so here's what we want. We're going to create a table named tutorials and it's going to have two columns one is the id and the other one is the title now the id is just an automatically generated number that is just for the database's use that's why it's labeled as the primary key down here the title is something we're going to put in so we give that var char so that means we can use anywhere from zero to a hundred characters to give the tutorial a title so let's see if it works let's click go Awesome, it worked. So, how do we actually input data into this table? Well, let's run another command. We want to insert into tutorials table into the title column, and we're going to put these as four rows. Notice how we don't have to put the primary key. That's done automatically. So let's run this and see if it works. Great, it worked. So how do we know it worked? Besides that it said it worked. <laughs> you can run another SQL command and the command is really simple. Select everything from tutorials. So here's our data and we have the ID and the title. Great. So that's an introduction to PHP My Admin. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Now that you have data in PHP My Admin, we can start working in PHP to try to get that data displayed on a web page. Thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Welcome back to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This is the series of installing MySQL and PHP on DreamHost. So where are we exactly? We are in FTP through FileZilla, and we're connected to our website. As you can see, I'm actually using the domain name, PHP MySQL.